a contemplation and meditation for this Sunday, Hebrews 7, 23 to 28. Today is All Hallows' Eve, the Vigil of All Saints. Halloween became Christianized during the harvest festivals of the Celts. The Celts believed that it was a time to be favored by witches and sorcerers. And so trick or treat comes from the belief that the restless ghosts were taught to visit the houses of the living this night. In the Hispanic tradition, the Day of the Dead celebrated in the Southwest, they prepare a banquet for the souls in the cemetery. They fix favorite foods and spend time at the grave. In Ireland, the costumed villagers representing the souls of the dead paraded them to the outskirts of the village, leading the ghosts away and causing us safety. In the Hebrew world of St. Paul, today they wrestle with the ancient priesthood of the temple and the ever-living high priesthood of Jesus, the Son of God, the Christ. Jesus is the high priest as we are told, higher than the heavens. A priest who has no need to offer sacrifice daily for sins, but who offered himself once and for all. His priesthood will never pass away. Jesus' priesthood can never be taken from him. He is and will always remain the only way to the Blessed Trinity. This Hollow's Eve, we celebrate that Word, the Son of God, who has been made perfect forever. He is light and life and leads away all frightening situations from our lives. Jesus Christ, High Priest forever. <laughs>